What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back. And um, if you've made it to this point, guys, congratulations. So we are designing a funeral program. So you will know we've designed a couple of pages. And if you're not understanding what, we make, what we're doing, please, you can go and start from the page one and back page, which we've designed. You can come over to this, watch all these episodes so you understand where we are. So we have designed the page um, 7 and 8. So today we'll be designing the 9 and the 10. Like I told you guys, this is categorized in... Um, the biography is categorized by birth, education, and career, and faith. So we've done the birth, we've done the education, so we are entering the career. So you want to remember um, on this video, in, this, in the previous one which we did, I told you guys there are lots of texts here that are supposed to go into the next page so which i later realized that i will prefer this one to finish here and the other one starts in the first page so we don't have bulk of pages for this and uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to reduce this page to six point um five all right so that is the front i'm going to make use of this i'm going to put um space in here so i'm going to make sure that it's i'm using this as black sorry guys i'm making an adjustment so don't um we are on the right track all right so i'm going to just give it this color instead of giving it the black color which we are making use of so we're making use of this color here so i'm going to just um make sure the color continues from here so right now i'm going to go to this and um basically um, fade out this a bit instead of leaving it that alright so the text so it won't affect the text so right now guys we're going to go into page 9 and 10 so to add another page we're going to come over to this plus sign again and click on plus to give out the space so right now remember what we did we're going to copy this box come over to this and paste in here alright so we have this so I'm going to hold my control and use my midpoint to flip it this way to the left so we're going to have this and this all right so right now i'm going to import the backgrounds we're going to make use of i want to go to um all right so this is actually loading so let's wait for it to load so right now i'm going to go to how and i'm going to select my um import shortcut is control plus i I want to go to this and select this folder and um, I'm going to go to the page 9 and 10 and I'm going to select this and this and um, this is the text we're going to make use of. I'm going to click on import and I'm going to basically drag this over here and leave that to that. So the next thing I'm going to do guys is I'm going to basically, remember guys we're making use of this image, I'm going to just um, come to this and uh, I'm going to copy this image I'm going to copy this image alright so once I copy it I'm going to come over to this and paste it so right now I'm going to come over to this and convert this to bitmap alright so once I convert it to bitmap I'm going to go to bitmap and select mode then I'm going to select black and white instead of gray I'm going to select black and white so I'm going to make this I'm going to um, make this black that is 252 pixels as the threshold. Then I'm going to click on OK. Then I'm going to bitmap it again to reduce the weight. I'm going to trace bitmap on my property bar and select um, outline trace and select light art. So we're going to wait for this to load basically. All right. You can see it's counting here, but it's very much heavy. You can see it's counting. So let's wait for it to load. All right, guys, so it's downloading. So we're going to click on uh, OK. And the next thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to delete this. And this is what we're going to have. So I'm going to basically ungroup this. So we're going to delete this one. So zoom in again and delete, let's delete this line here. So delete this line. All right. Or you can basically leave everything. And um, once you leave everything, you can click on trim to trim everything all right 
So once you do that, select, you can see we have a node here. So select your shape too and delete this node and make sure everything here is plain. And that is it, guys. So right now I'm going to bring this one here. All right. So I'm going to bring this one here and I'm going to, I'm going to zoom this out or scale it up this way. And this is what we're going to have. So basically guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click and select power click, place it into this frame. And this is what we're going to do next. So right now. I want to give it this color. Once I do that, I want to come over to this color terminal, double click on it. And um, bring this just right here and come over to the color viewer. Make sure this is on um, CMYK, leave it at CMYK. I'm going to drag this one over here and link that to that and click on OK. I just want that to be somehow, you know, um, what was it called? Somehow light. So right now I'm going to select this, I click on it and select power clip, place it into this frame. I click and select edit power clip and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, right click again, select and um, sorry power clip, place it into this frame. I click and select edit power clip and um, drag this up this way, then take it up just this way. And this is what you are going to have. So right now I'm going to select my rectangle tool, draw a box just right here. Give it the black color. Let your black color be RGB, 100% black, all right? So if you want to give it a 100% black, so you just come over to this thumbnail and double click on it. And once you do that, come over to this color viewer and make sure it's on RGB. Like I said, yes, CNYK, but make your black RGB. I know what I'm saying. Perfect black. So right now, I'm going to select my transparency tool, fade out this edge. To blend it to the background is not good looking this way so fade it out so it will blend to the background so once you do that you can scale this one up just right here and click on finish let's see what we have and boom guys this is basically what we're going to have guys so right now um let me let me make sure this is more light all right so i'm going to come over to this text copy this carrier paste it just right here so we're going to scale it up. Let me zoom out a bit. I'm going to change the font to, remember we're using it all bright as font from the other side. So we're going to continue. So once I do that, I'm going to make this one 90 degree. Once I make it 90 degree, I'm going to place it just right here. Scale it up this way. All right. So you can leave that to that. And once you do that, you're going to come over to this. Um, let me take this one up. Let me take this one up. So we're going to select our black and put it there. All right. So we leave that to that. I'm going to come over to this and copy these tags and um, paste it here. I want to copy, um, highlight everything and delete everything in here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this one here and uh, okay. You can't see it guys, but let's copy the text here so we can see something. Let's see something. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So we copy to here. I want to paste this one over here. Paste it. I just want to paste it so we can see what we're doing. So I'm going to give it a white color. All right. So right now, what I'm going to do is I want to reduce this and um, reduce this one. And we're going to place this one here. All right. I'm going to duplicate this this way. To duplicate it to get it perfect, instead of coming here to draw another one, basically hold your control and drag this out, then um, right click immediately, and this is what you're going to have. So make sure your alignment is okay. All right. So you can basically drag this one here, bring this one here, and this is what we're going to have. So this is the right top on that carrier. So if you look closely, guys, you see that there are more text here. So you're going to delete this one because this text and this text is the same thing. So you're going to delete this one basically because this text has to flow into this one. All right. Right now, you're going to basically select this. And remember how I taught you guys how to merge, how to join, um, how to join um, text box to flow in the other previous videos. So what you're going to do is select this, um, the down, the middle, anchor point here select it and this arrow is going to come up asking you where do you want to like i told you guys if this line is red that means there are more text below let me just 
let me do something so you can see let me drag down you can see there are more text you can see more text coming out so um if you select this one this arrow is going to come up actually where do you want to flow me to so we are flowing to this one you can see continuation comes here three months after becoming you see has flown all right but i'm going to come over to this and copy this one paste it here delete this one once we delete it let's drag this one down because i want this to align with this so once we do that we're going to flow this one because there are more text here too we're going to flow in this one to the next page this way so that is why i told you guys let's give this one a black color so we can see that's why i told you guys that see i always want i always want my own layout to be this way so once i'm done designing i can lay it on each page all right i will explain on the last episode so stay tuned to this video all right so let me scale this one up a little bit and that is it guys so right now i will drag this one here i'm going to drag this one here all right so once i drag it uh, i'm going to basically delete this one because let's check if there is more text all right so you can see it's not longer red so let's give this one black so the font i'm making is of this one let's give it uh let's give it nine okay nine is much let's try seven all right so we can drag this one up this way because i want more information to be flown in here yes it might be red because there's nothing here now so it can still be red all right so but if it's red make sure you check down because always make sure you drag down to make sure there's no text hidden so you don't lose out of your text so right now the next one is what the award the award he has earned for himself so i'm going to copy that paste it here remember guys we're making use of what all bright as color as a um, font so i'm going to drag this one here so that's why i downloaded this one all right so let me give this one 6.7 or let's say 6.5 all right so drag this one here and um let's give this one this all right so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give this one okay this is another i'm going to drag this one up this way let me drag this one down let me drag this one down this way all right drag this one up this way so once you're done always make sure you give it the color relating to this so it brings out all the text on this all right so um i did been this i want to give this one okay let me give this one let me give this one a like, uppercase again all right sorry um drop cap all right let me give it a drop cap all right now this is basically what you're going to have so i'm going to draw this one here bring this one down i'm going to reduce this place it here and basically bring this one over here so i'm going to copy this color use my eyedropper to copy this color and give it this color over here and this is basically what we're going to have so next thing i'm going to do guys is i'm going to basically bring in my um okay another text this is engineer blah 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 uh, following awards as follows so i'm going to bring this here and drag give it this color i'm going to bring in my text to paste it over here reduce it and um, bold it give it a black color so i'm going to give it center alignment and leave that to that so right now guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically copy this award one after the other copy this is the first award and let me shape uh, your text to and paste it ctrl v to paste then make sure it's not on board don't allow your text to be on what on board give it non-alignment all right align it this way bring in the second one you can drag this one down paste it copy this one drag this one down paste it all right copy this drag this one down paste it 
Why am I dragging down? Because I want all the text to be same, same font, same size. So I'm re re I'm just redoing everything you've seen here. So, so copy this, bring it down. Make sure they are on the same, the same uh, spacing. Copy this, paste it down. All right, so right now, you're going to copy the last one, which is this. Bring it down, and this is basically what you're going to have. So right now, I'm going to highlight everything and scale this one up this way. So once I do that, I'm going to bring this one down this way. Align here. So I'm going to drag this one up, scale it up a bit. Bring this one here. Scale it up this way. And um, bring this one just right here. So this is basically what we're going to have. So remember guys, we are also putting this on each page. Not on every page, but it will be on most of the pages. All right. So right now, I want to drag this one here. Drag it down a bit. So we're going to change the color of this one to white. Let's give it a white color. And this is it guys. So right now I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. Make sure it is aligned. And bring this one down this way. And that is it guys. So basically guys, this is how we designed this. But I think there's something I want to put in here. I want to just, if you remember guys, we had this. I want to just paste it here and um, let me just put it here. All right. Reduce it and um, place it just right here. And this is basically what you're going to have. So this is basically how um, I designed this. But let me come over to this and make some adjustment. I want this to start from here. I need to align instead of just keeping it there. Let's align with this. All right. So alignment with this. So that is it, guys. This is how we designed this. Page 9 and 10. So in the next video, we'll continue from page 11 and 12, which is the fate, all right, which is just the fate. We've done the career and we have, we're coming to fate. You can see the career is the um, second to the last, which the fate is the last one. So I want to show you guys how we made those pages. So I believe you guys are learning a lot, which is how to align the text, how to, you know, play with text, how to... Um, arrange your inner pages for your design, either brochure or magazine or anything. There are different ways to do this, all right? If you know which one works for you, you can go for it. So right now, guys, don't forget to subscribe and I remain your boy, Jim Graphics. Share my videos, guys. Don't be stingy. Share my videos and um, like, comment. If you have any question, comment in the down description below or you can DM me on Instagram, Jim underscore junior one. For any problem i'm going to reply you for those of you who said i don't reply please i also do other jobs all right i always make out time for you guys i do other jobs so guys if you don't have any question please don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in my next video